So service workers are powerful for offline caching, but they're also really good for giving you um, instant loading performance benefits when it comes to repeat visits. Yep. Right. And you can achieve that using an application shell architecture. Yeah. Now, so that's kind of the idea of kind of separating content from the actual visual UI. So in my head, it's kind of like native apps. You always have the banner. You've got the navigation drawer at the side. You yeah. might have some other bits. That could be common through like 90% of your app. Yeah. You always want it there. So when we talk about the shell, we're talking about the HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript that's making up the bulk of your UI. Yeah. Stuff exactly. that, you know, if you cache that, you can still just like load up content in the very middle yeah. um, and save yourself having to constantly reload that stuff, right? Yeah, and it's super nice when it comes to like, let's say they're visiting a page they've never been to before. If you know the layout's always going to be the same, you can still load that while you go and get the content in the background. Um, and it just makes sure that your user has like really good perceived performance. Yeah. Um, so the first time your app loads, you might show, you might like, um, you're going to have to render the shell itself. You'll cache that in your service worker. And you might show like a toast just to let them know, hey, this application now works offline. Yep. And that means that when they come back another time, like let's say they're you know, in airplane mode, uh, that shell will load up really, really quickly. Um, and then it might go to the network to fetch the rest of the content. You can then cache that content so that you know, that entire view is then available whenever they try accessing it without a network connection. Yeah, exactly. Spot on. We've got some performance testing we've done with the application shell model. Um, this is using web page tests. So on first visit, we've got um, a relatively fast uh, time to first meaningful paint. And this is super important because I, I think that there can be scenarios where someone might take advantage of service worker to be like, ah, don't worry about your first load. But I'm just going to serve up like megabytes of stuff that yeah. I'm going to cache. Afterwards, you'll be super fast. But that first load, if that takes so long to the point where the service worker doesn't even get registered, that's pointless. And plus, for other browsers that don't support service worker, you're then kind of just damaging yourself. Yeah, that's so, going to make your users go and cry in a corner. Exactly. You don't want that. So you still want to be serving up just that static render of your site, just so then it just loads up as fast as humanly possible, and then progressively enhance the service worker to then use the AppShell model. And if you are using the AppShell model, as you can see here, we've got um, really good. We've actually slashed our load times um, for first meaningful paints on repeat visits. Uh, speaking of like actually taking a look at what impact server-side rendering has on this, uh, you don't have to use Service Worker um, you know, to actually be able to get good gains. If you're building uh, with the App Shell model in mind, with server-side rendering in mind, you will get like, a really good first paint, even in like, Safari and um, like, mobile Safari on iOS. Yeah, all the other browsers that just don't have Service Worker. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering, OK, well, should I be using the application shell model on all of my applications, um, there are going to be types of apps, like super simple apps. This, this might be overkill. Yeah. But if you're building something that's you know, a little bit more complex, a little bit more dynamic, this type of model makes a ton of sense. Um, at Google, we're using it for things like Inbox. and It's working really well there. Yeah, I think it's one of those things you end up falling into the sit there and figure out whether it makes sense for your site or not. But I think it's a good overall model that works for a lot of different scenarios. There's a whole ton um, behind this model that you know, we, we way too much to explain in just one video. But we wrote up. Uh, Pretty amazing article on this, if we do say so ourselves. Well, you wrote it up, and I just read it. So you you just added your name to the end of it. Yeah, that's how I wrote it. Pretty much. <laughs> Impact. Um, that's worth checking out. That's the format of this it's a mediocre ID. article at best, but it's got pretty graphics. Yes, it does. Um, people should go check that out. Yep. Learn more about AppShell. Um, and then there's also the Getting Started Guide for your first progressive web app, where it actually talks about the application shell model, how you can make, like, take advantage of it, as well as how it applies to the demo app that you can build in this lovely code lab. Yep. And in that article, we also link out to tools that can help you get started with the application model like, really quickly um, that we're working on. So check that out. Yeah, build a weather app.